Hello, this video is on how to score 5 out of 5 in AP Computer Science Principles exam. This video and the points I have mentioned is completely based on my 7 years of teaching experience. So first we need to understand the exam format. So 70% of the score is multiple choice section in which you will be given a question and there will be options and you need to select the answer based on that. So there will be 70 questions in 120 minutes. And then you have a performance task which constitutes about 30% of the score. So this is related to creating a project, creating a video and then writing description on it. So first we'll discuss about the multiple choice section. So you have 70 questions in 120 minutes. So per question, you should not spend more than 1.5 minutes. The mass come around 1.7 minutes. So to be on safer side, 1.5 minute is the. So we need to focus less on those questions, which will take more time. So the so the focus is the focus is. to attempt complete paper. So we need to solve maximum number of questions. Right? So we should not spend more than 1.5 minutes on a single question. Yeah. So the multiple choice question is based on five big ideas. We have big idea creative development, data, algorithm and programming computer system networks and impact of computing, right? The most important big idea among this five is algorithm and programming. The reason why it is important is because of the weightage plus the concepts, whatever you learn here will be applied to your project as well, right? Which, which has 30% of the weightage. Right. So this is must topic. Everyone should do it complete end to end. So algorithms and programming have the maximum weightage. So this part, this part data is also a topic which involves problem solving like binary data, converting one number system to another number system, etc. And this is also very high weightage topic and also scoring. So according to the weightage, you should prepare accordingly. There are some theoretical topics like impact of computing, creative development has some problem solving, but in all it's a theory topic, computer system and network, this is also very theoretical. So according to my experience, I have seen that students don't have much problems with the theoretical topics like impact of computing, computer system networks and creative development, they have issues with these two things, data and algorithm and programming. So these two big ideas, I'll tell how to prepare for them in a minute, but these are the two most important things you will focus for exam. Having said that, you should also focus on the theoretical topics like impact of computing, computer system networks and creative creative development but the focus area will be or should be more on these two big ideas two and three for create performance task there are three hacks so the first hack is basically demonstrate core program features so in the in the marking scheme it has mentioned what all things you need to use so the first thing you need to use is a list List is a collection which stores multiple values, right? So you need to use list. You need to use some iteration like a loop and you need to use selection like if else. So this things is a must. You need to use list iteration selection and also you should make a function or procedure to call it. So basically you need to use all this concepts in your project, which you are making for AP computer science principles. The second 
part to this is effective video demo. So whenever you're making the video, you should highlight what is my input and output. And this is really, really important. From where the input is taken, from where the output is given, this should this you should show in the video. And also by default, functionality, how it works, should also be shown in the video. Always avoid screenshots or static images. It should be live demonstration. Everything should be live. The video should also be maximum of one minute. So maximum length is one minute. Yeah, but if you have any questions on how to record a video, how to do video editing or how to get a perfect video for your project. If you have any questions like that, I'll give my WhatsApp link in the description. You can just message me and I'll respond to it immediately. So if you have any questions, just ask me on WhatsApp. So video demonstration is important. You need to pick a right tool which software you want to use. The maximum length is one minute and you should have input output functionality clearly shown and no screenshots. So the third thing is having a detailed response. In your written responses, explain how the code works, especially the iteration part. So this is a thing which is so important because many students miss this. In detailed response, you need to mention how iteration works, right? How procedure abstraction works, how your function is working, how you're implementing abstraction. This is so, so important. How list of procedure manages complexity. So whatever the points we have discussed, like list, iteration, selection, procedure, how you're using them in your project, you need to write all those things. So these are the three hacks which will make you succeed in the 